don't want anybody to think you're drunk. You're the one that needs to pretend like they're not drunk. I can handle my liquor. <laughs> oh my God, no, don't even try and cover it because we all just saw that. Keisha. <laughs> It's not that funny. Get up, Girl, get up, yes, man. it is. Did you not see this running to the pole right there? <laughs> get up, man. Get up. Look, y'all go back to class. There's nothing to see here. Oh, come Bye. on. Marvin, are you okay? He's yeah. fine. Yeah. Well, JC ain't gonna like this. Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. Okay. You don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Okay. Okay. Yes, I do. Let's just go. Let's just go. Hang on. So y'all been drinking? We have not been shrinking. Oh, yeah, they haven't been shrinking. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Okay, you're wasting your time. Can we go, please? Yeah, bye. 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 Keisha, bye. please. That, that was embarrassing. Why did you tell me there was a pole? I'm sorry, man. She's so fine. Oh, Melinda? Melinda Prince? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's been liking me since third grade. Hit in the face, Marvin. Yeah, she just waved at me. She was waving at me. Are you serious? She's just my friend. Yeah. And you must be drunk out of your mind if you think she would give you the time of day. I mean, she's way out of your league. You think so? Yes, all right. She's more into the... Athletic type, like myself. <laughs> You're athletic. Well, I'm sure she would prefer me over some soft dude walking around singing Negro spirituals all the time. It's gospel music, not Negro spirituals. Negro. Anyway, all right, since she started dating, what's his name? JC the third. I just put it on the back burner. You're drunk. I'm not drunk. I'm just slightly buzzed, you know? Is she really dating JC? Yeah. And I don't know why. You know he shot that three-pointer and missed it. It cost us the whole championship game. What does that have to do with anything? Look, let's go to the store and get some more drinks. Lord, I will live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, was that smooth? Damn, we should have asked him. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ex excuse me, sir. Is there any chance you could get us some, uh, some, some wine? Some Boone's Farm. <laughs> How old are you? Never mind. You, you have a blessed day, sir. Do you know who that was? Nah, who? It was one of the deacons from First Light Baptist Church. My dad's church. Man, what you doing? I don't need to be seen with you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Excuse me, sir. Could, could you get us some wine? I gotta go. I got group rehearsal at seven. Hey, man, can't you just skip one rehearsal? I know for a fact my uncle got some wine at his house. My head hurts. I'm going home. I don't know why we running from him anyway. He too damn big to chase us. Uh, uh, uh. He's here. Who? Him. Him who? Mom's friend. I can smell it, man. Snow what? You've been drinking again. No, Mark. At a very early age, I experienced probably one of the most devastating situations that I thought that I would ever experience. It broke me. I mean, really, really devastated me from the inside out. My mother and father got a divorce, and I really didn't know what to do. What are you doing here? 
Because I need a way to talk to an adult. Again, what are you doing here? You want to tell me why you're being so disrespectful? No. Maybe you can tell me why you smell like alcohol. I don't have to explain a damn thing to you. Let's get back to my question. Why are you always here? If you must know, me and your mother are going out. You know people are uncomfortable with this. With what? You seen my mom. Marvin, your mother's been divorced almost eight years. Don't you think it's time to what? To understand that your mom deserves happiness. Not with you. Well, I think that's for your mother to determine. Out of all the single women you could be dating in the world, why my mom? Can't believe I'm having this conversation with a child. A child? I'm a man. I oh, seriously no. doubt that. What, what is going on here? Somebody say something. Ain't nothing to say. Yeah. Right, Mom? There ain't nothing to talk about. Wait, where are you going? I gotta get to rehearsal. What just happened here? Like time is running away from you. Don't know what to do. And in your darkest sour, you try to find your power. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, <laughs> that's good. That, 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 that's good. I just, I'm sorry, Terry. I just don't think this song is within your range. What? Let's, let's try this again. I can do this. Terry, no. Let, let's, um, let's, ha let's have Marvin give it a go. Yeah. 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 I know sometimes it feels like time is running away from you. Don't know what to do. And in your darkest hour, you try to find the power just to make it through. But the Lord, he promised never to leave you alone. You gotta believe me If you got a problem That you can't solve Give it to Jesus And let him get involved He's your helper He's your friend no more He'll How is he gonna know where we at? I don't know, I just told him to meet us up here It yeah, sound like him right now Oh. How'd you know we were here? Man, I went here 10 years before y'all. This is my spot. Come on, what you need, man? Just the nickel bag, man. Just Marvin. What's up, Marvin? Yeah, nothing. Just chilling. <laughs> just chilling, huh? Yeah. Okay. Just chilling. You, mm. you just don't listen, do you? Come on, Kev. I don't need another speech. Nah, you focusing on the wrong things. Huh? I'm not selling y'all weed anymore. You shouldn't be out here running around with this clown. Hey, I'm not a clown, man. Shut up. Nobody is talking to you. OK. But with a voice like yours, I, I know. I know. I should be using it to make money. It's the last time. Don't call me anymore to buy. Hey, right, this is it. You understand? Yeah, I understand. Huh? All right. Appreciate it. <laughs> I can't breathe. Just relax. <laughs> you got it. I don't feel anything. Probably do feel something. You just don't know you feel something. No. He didn't do anything for me. Hold on. Let me turn. 
Those guys. <laughs> yeah, right. Which one you got a crush on? I see they're just my friends. You're overreacting once again. Overreacting? What you just did was disrespectful. Yeah, hey, don't turn away from me when I'm talking. Come on, Melinda. Get in the car with us. Yo, are you crazy? Missy, wait, no. Hey, yo, Margo, watch out. <laughs> Stop it, please! Hey! Hey, let him go! Or what? Hey! Hey! Look, I have to legally warn you. I'm trained in the martial arts. That means I'm capable of hurting you really bad. Now let him go! JC, let's just go! Look, I don't care how many weights you basketball players lift. I'm a three-degree black belt in a keto. That means that I'm capable of whooping your black ass. Marvin, are you okay? I'm fine. I got him right where I want him. You sure about that? Yeah. All right. You got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh! oh no! You want to let him go, man. Take me home. All right. Take me home now. Is it bleeding, man? No. And I was about to mess him up. You got any more cupcakes? You sat on my cupcake. I'm trying to be a hero. Waited all year for this. In the race? <laughs> Strongly believed in Proverbs 22 and verse number 6, where it says, train up a child the way that he should go, so that when he is old, he does not depart from it. So whenever I got with him, it was always a training. Trust him. Hey, 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 baby. Perfect timing. Can you help me with these groceries? I'm in a hurry. OK, well, why? Why are you in such a hurry? I'm going to dad's job to help make hangers. OK, well, he can wait. I, I need help with these groceries. What am I supposed to do? What you trying to do? Where's the money at? That's all you got? Jesus, lazy. You're lazy. I gave you what I had. You're I'm working. Lazy. Don't make me chase you, girl. Hey, Theodore. Hey, Miss Seth. What's going on here? We got a problem? Yeah, we good, Miss Seth. You sure, Theodore? You know I prefer to be called smooth. Yeah, we all have our preferences. Exactly. OK. Theodore, have a great day. We're closed. Come back tomorrow. We're closed. I'm sorry. You could have let him in, Marvin. That was Zeke. You're closed on Saturdays after 3. I'm never closed for my regulars. Never mind. Look, grab some of them hangers, son. Start making these hangers. So what you been up to lately, Marvin? I've just been studying hard, mm. practicing with the group. When are you going to come see me sing? We'll see. You sure you don't want to come because you don't want to see Mom? I have no problem seeing your mother. Well, then what's the problem? I've been working a lot of overtime, Marvin. Mm. I 
try to be there on Sunday. No guarantees, though. Uh, switching subjects. <laughs> Is Danny or Henry coming over to help? Really, Marvin? What? They should be over here. Danny, Henry, and work. And this hot dry cleaner shouldn't even be mentioned in the same sentence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Danny's been filling out a lot of job applications. Well, that's a start. <laughs> that's a start. How Jackson doing? He's doing great. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah we, we started studying together. You know, if it weren't for him, you know, my, my grades. Would... Stop, Marvin. What? You know, you need to become more of a leader, son. Huh? <laughs> I didn't raise you to be no follower, Marvin. I told you about that. No, well, I'm not a follower. You're not? No. Where's this coming from? What were you and Jackson doing out in front of J&J liquor store the other day? Studying? Dad, we, we, we were... I, I, before you say another word, I expect the truth, Marvin. We were trying to get something to drink. And is that leading or following? You're right. Look, Marvin, I don't want to ever hear about you trying to buy no liquor again. You understand me? Yes, sir. And as far as Jackson is concerned, the word no should be utilized on a regular basis. You hear me? Yeah. All right. Now that we've finished with these hangers, grab that paintbrush and hand me one of them rollers. We're going to paint, too? Yep. Son. Yes. Sometimes I know you might think I'm a little hard on you. No, I don't think that. It's only because I love you, Marvin. I love you too, Dad. You did that on purpose. No, I didn't do that on purpose. Marvin, look what you did to my shirt, man. Doing this on purpose? Oh, Marvin, boy. This is an official. Duke ropes in full effect. Swing a left to right. When I rock the mic, y'all need some shades when they shine in the light. Perpetrating a fraud. Be front and hard. Just take a peek in. Can you turn that down? I'm not even supposed to be playing that anymore. I'm so sorry about what happened. <laughs> There's absolutely no need to apologize. Did he hurt you? Please. If you guys hadn't interrupted, I was getting ready to body slam. <laughs> My bad, no, I'm sure you would have. Hey, how's the nose doing, Jackson? You know, it looks a little purple. <laughs> you always got something to say, don't you? Yeah, because I always got something to say. Ah, uh, man, well, you shut up. You shut up. Nah, you shut up. You shut up. No, you shut up. Oh, no, no, no. Big boy. Hey. Big boy. Keisha, stop. Please, just stop. So where do you plan on going? I've been looking at a number of universities, but the application process is grueling, to say the least. Mm. Yeah, he better keep moving. <laughs> yeah. I'd hate for him to have to punch you in the nose again. <laughs> Should you stand up? Oh. Did you guys break up? Not really. We're just on a break. Hope it's a permanent break. What'd you say? I was just saying this tastes like steak. Oh, turn that off, man. That's my jail. Every time I'm near you, I hear your body call me. I can't take your thing away. Sing it. If you want me to, I'll stay and make all of your dreams come true. So, baby, let me hold you. You don't have to cry no more. I know what you came here for. Just open up your heart and let me hold you. You ain't got to cry no more. I know what you came here for. Open up your heart and turn let it, me it. hold you. I want to be your man. So come and take my hand and let me hold you. Ooh, the things you do when you look into my eyes. I give my heart to you. Know that you realize and I hope that you 
The things you do when you look into my eyes. I give my heart to you and hope that you realize and I hope that you see we got a future too. I give my heart to you, baby. I'm asking you, let me just Hit it or what? No. What? No. Ma, this cost me seven dollars. I gotta go. Where you going? Now, oh, more for me. Hey, Marvin. Hey. Sure, JC is not gonna like me carrying your books. I really don't care. You should come to our church this Sunday. What's going on? There's a new male gospel group coming to town called Commission, and they'll be performing. Really? I've never heard of them. Something wrong, Melinda? No, everything's fine. You sure? You didn't answer one question in class today. I usually have to beg you to stop raising your hand. <laughs> yeah. Well, my dad got arrested again last night. It's rough. I'm sorry to hear that, Lana. No, it's it's fine. <laughs> I just have a lot on my plate right now. You need to stop worrying so much. I know. My counselor said that I should start looking at colleges outside of Michigan. She says the best psychology programs are elsewhere. Like where? Tennessee State, for starters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's some ways from Grand Rapids. Yeah, really far from home. I just don't know how I can leave with my family struggling like this. Just the other day, my mom had enough bread to make two sandwiches for the four of us. So we each had half of a sandwich. Okay, you need to pick up the phone and call me. We have plenty of food at our house. Marvin, I can't do that. Yes, you can, and you will. I just don't want to leave with my family struggling like this. As long as I'm breathing, your brothers and sisters will eat. Thanks, Marvin. I really appreciate that. No doubt, man. No doubt. Let's crew. We know it will. Literally had us in church every Sunday. But that wasn't the problem. The problem is what I was doing Monday through Saturday. Reminds me of the scripture in 1 Peter chapter number 5 and verse number 8 where it tells us to be alert and to be sober-minded because your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion and he's looking for someone to devour. And you know what? 
He almost had me. Yo, we need to talk. I see, I'm just not ready. It's been a week. You were wrong. All right, I don't know why I did it. I'll apologize. I'll do whatever you need me to do. You're not listening to her. Marvin, you need to stay out of it. <gasps> Jackson, man, I'll apologize. I'm sorry. Please, just take this. <sighs> $20? Man, my ghetto blaster cost $75. See, Lynn? I tried to apologize, but he's being ungrateful. Let me go. Jackson, don't do this. You know what's next. Did he pass out? <laughs> oh my god. Keisha, help us, please. Have you been drinking too? No. Okay. Let's just get him home. My mother? When I tell you this was a hard woman, she just was adamant about ensuring that her sons were felony free, especially growing up in the neighborhood that we grew up in. So she did everything that she possibly could to make sure that the street in which we lived on, she was the enforcer, y'all. She didn't care if she embarrassed us or what. That woman was just, she was real, all the way real. Can you get your brothers to stop running in this house before they break something? Hey, you guys stop running around the house. Uh, I could have did that, Marvin. Okay, D Darnell, Henry, stop running in this house. Go outside. Marvin. What's going on? I know what you've been doing. What are you talking about, Mom? I warned you about drinking. I, I stopped. Reggie just told me you was drunk when you was arguing with him the other day. I wasn't drunk. And another thing, I'm gonna need you to remember that he is an adult and should be treated with respect. Really? Yes, really. And you will stop getting involved in things that you shouldn't be involved in, Marvin. Mom, I, I just don't like him. Okay, <laughs> I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to distract me, but we are not talking about Reggie. You're the one that brought up Reggie. Okay, watch it, Marvin. Listen, we, we're church people, okay? You're a child of God, Marvin. You should not be doing things that are ungodly. Unless it benefits you. Excuse me? Every other day, you send me up the street to drop off your numbers. What do people of the church say about that? Okay, now you wait a minute. Let me just make this clear to you. I am not raising no disrespectful, drugged-out alcoholic. Understood? Come on. No, don't come on me, Marvin. God has blessed you with many gifts. Use them. You're starting to sound like Kevin. Yeah, that's because Kevin don't want your gifts wasted. I, I, I... What the hell y'all mean y'all want to work? We got y'all looking good. Mom, don't go over there. Hey. Y'all stay in a hey. nice house. Hey, like Big nice Kevin. Hey, you was bald here before you got with me. Now look at you. Got on designer hey. shoes. I bought that. That's expensive stuff. I paid for that. Not hey. you. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, hey, Miss Seth. What the hell are you doing, Theodore? It's smooth. And I'm minding my business. Something like you should be doing. Yeah, well, you out here yelling at these ladies in front of my children is my business. Look, Miss Seth, I'm a self-employed entrepreneur that just so happened to work from home. And my employees don't want to work. So sometimes you have some on-the-job conflict, and you know... Okay, I don't want to hear your nonsense, Theodore. If I got to come back out here because of you, I won't be talking. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. You hear me, though, right? Hey, Miss Sapp. Good. Thank you, Theodore. And it's smooth. Come on, y'all. Get back in the house. Let's go. Inside. So y'all really don't want to work? 
Hey, yo, man, here comes your cousin Kev. Come here. Not you. What's up? I hope y'all over here not trying to buy some liquor. No, absolutely not. Mm. We're not doing that. Shut up, Jackson. Ain't nobody talking to you. OK. But me and you, we're going to have a real big problem if that's what you're doing. Why are you riding me, man? You're worse than my mom. <laughs> it's because you don't need to be out in these streets, Marvin. You're not running in the streets. Will you shut up, man? OK. Why do you care so much? I just want to see you make it. Be smart. Damn. He be tripping. I can't stand the way he be talking to me, man. I hear y'all got some group coming to y'all's church on Sunday. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait. Maybe I'll come to church this Sunday. When was the last time you stepped inside of a church? Hey, 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 man. I be going to church almost every Sunday. Ah, uh, your lying is a sin. And lying about going to church? Well, I'm pretty sure that's a double sin. All right, well, look. You need exposure. What are you talking about? Kevin's right. I mean, we need to be focusing on you using your voice, all right? You should be touring churches and singing. And most importantly, making us, I mean, you some money. Why is everything about money for you, man? Because it's the only thing that puts gas in my dad's car and how much you donate. I got like a dollar thirty-two. A dollar thirty-two, all right? All that's gonna do is get us to Melinda's house. Now you see why we need money. Well, I sing because it makes me feel good. All right, well, feel good about this. I got an idea. What? I gotta figure out a way to get you to open for that group, uh, uh commission. Well, I plan on requesting myself. Doesn't the church have to request you? Yes, but I didn't want to take any chances of not being requested. Exactly. We're not depending on the church this time. Now, I got an idea, and you got to consider it. I'm going to send out 10 requests for you to sing. 10 requests. You down? Ah, it's flying. Let's do this, bro. Let's do this. See, I'm smart when I try. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Be ready for whatever life throws your way. Only Dial provides a hard work and clean, but is gentle to skin with its Skin Smart Complex and three moisturizers to leave your skin feeling fresh and healthy. Nothing cleans like Dial. I ever imagined that I would ever be able to succeed or accomplish any goal that I desire to accomplish. All I had was scripture. Psalms chapter number 20 and verse number four was one of my favorite where it declares, may he give you the desires of your heart and make all of your plans succeed. Everything that I lay my hands to, it's going to happen. And he's going to position me so that the rest of my days will be the best of my days. The sound that saved me. And all these requests we put in, they put this non-singing girl up here. I have heard dogs doing it in my backyard that sound better than this. This is so messed up. Well, at least you get to sing. They had me scheduled to sing during offering, which in case you didn't know, is the worst time for anybody to sing. I, see. I think that's his daughter. I want you to know that God will You might be all alone But take it from me, I know he will I've never seen Oh my Who is that kid? I think it's mom and sad Oh, oh, I just say yes And if I don't want to win this, somebody say yes yeah. <laughs> and you can't get well. Just call on the Lord and he will. Oh, and if you're hungry, he's coming for you. Just come on, yeah. Oh, 
Hello. Hey. Yeah. Wait, what? Slow down. Well, at least I ain't got everything else in everybody's business, huh? Mm -hmm. This is just my nose. See, see, there you yeah, go. Too, that's all right. It ain't mm -hmm. even about you. Let's oh, keep it about these chicks. Oh, it's never been about me, clearly. That's why we're not together. Mom, he was Dad, really trying to win. Can you please just stop? I'm sorry. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Sepp. Marvin is doing a lot better, but he had a pretty severe seizure. There are some concerns. Concerns as in? We performed an EEG. This is the most common test where we place sensors on the scalp to record electrical activity on the brain. Marvin's EEGs were abnormal. Do you know what the problem is? I'm sure Marvin had an epileptic seizure. A, a what? I believe Marvin has epilepsy. Oh, my God. Are you sure about this? <sighs> the type of seizure that he had is caused by epilepsy. That's when you get the loss of consciousness and the violent muscle contractions. These grand mal seizures are caused when abnormal electrical activity occurs throughout the brain. Marvin can still have a healthy and productive life, but in all honesty, there will be limitations. Limitations meaning? No working or driving, no loud music. We don't want to do anything right now that could trigger a seizure. Wait, wait, no music? What? M Marvin loves to sing. <laughs> While some people's seizures are triggered by music, more and more research is finding that music can actually help treat epilepsy, too. Several studies on music for seizures have shown that when people with epilepsy listen to certain tracks on a daily basis, it can help control their epilepsy. I'm just trying to be proactive and... Sorry, Doc, it's just... It's just a lot to take in, you know? I understand. Marvin, it's been weeks and you've hardly left this house. You can't spend the rest of your life in this room. You're not allowed to do anything worth going outside for. Honey, I know it's not easy, but you got to do something with yourself or you you can lose your mind like this. You're going to be all right. OK. Well, you have a visitor? Hey. 
Hi, how are you? There you go. Thank you. Oh, and I'm, I'm going to leave this door open. Okay. Hanging in there. We brought you some donuts. We? Oui. Yeah, Keisha and Jackson. Instead of coming in here, they decided to stay in the car and argue, per <laughs> usual. <laughs> Marvin, you got to get out of this house. I've tried. Just not in the mood. Mr. Sapp, I'm not leaving this stool until you get up and out of that bed. Girl, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I know where I'm going. Where? Tennessee State. It's a long way from here. Yeah, it's far. But they have the best psychology programs. I'm still really nervous about leaving my mom, though. Mm, I told you, don't you worry about that. We're going to take care. Oh, yeah. And how are you going to do that from inside of this bed every single day, Marvin? I'm, I'm getting up. <laughs> oh, wait. I really don't want to see your boxers. But I'll see you soon. <laughs> Trust me. I... <clears throat> Marvin. I mean, I counted your pills. Why haven't you been taking your meds? <sighs> Mama, I don't like the way they... No, you don't like. The doctor said you need to take these meds. You so damn hard-headed. I don't like how they make me feel. <sighs> it's been months and the seizures keep coming. No meds are going to fix me. Boy, you better take these pills. I spoke to God. He's going to heal me. I know he will. You just wait. Marvin, you have to take this medicine. Mom, you were the first person to introduce me to God. To instill in me to always put him first. I have no other choice than to put my faith and trust in him. This was ordained. Things will be back to normal soon. Okay. Okay, so you, you grown now. Make your own decisions, all right? And, you know, start paying your own bills, too. Since you're so grown, do things your way. That's okay. All right. As I began to get older, I began to feel the healing power of the Lord. The epileptic episodes began to diminish as I began to wean myself off of my medication and allow me to focus on my singing and delivering his word. You know, I had done so much wrong in my life that I thought I had forfeited my call. But God had to remind me that there were so many other individuals in scripture that did wrong but yet and still used them. Moses was a murderer. David committed adultery. Peter was a cutter and a cusser. And I tell you, if God can use them, he absolutely can use me. He told me, he said, Marvin, Mark chapter 16 and verse number 15 is your scripture. I'm commanding you to go into all the world and I need you to preach the gospel to all creation. And that's what I did. to be an example. You claiming Jesus, but can I depend on you to be an example? Well, said I'm on the battlefield for my Lord, 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 Lord. On the battlefield for my Lord. Said I promised him that I would serve him. Serve him to the end. I gotta keep moving on. On the battlefield for my Lord. You were a sight to see in that pulpit. Uh, that mean a remarkable sermon. Just incredible. Uh, thank you. Listen, I uh, want you to meet our newest member, Melinda Prince. Melinda Prince? I know Melinda. <laughs> <laughs> you do? Hey. <laughs> I tell you what, I just 
I'll just leave you two to catch up, huh? Okay. Hey. What's up, Lynn? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me you were back in town? Oh, I've only been back for about a week. Just had some things to get in order. All right. Tried to figure out why you just kind of stopped calling. You know. uh, I called you. Oh, uh, just playing with you. Just playing with you. What, what are you up to now? You know, I am enrolled at Western Michigan University. Nice. Yeah. Are you back for good now? Yep, back in good old Grand Rapids. Well, welcome back. Yeah, now that I'm back, I'm um, gonna help out my mom. And you know, my sister is going through a divorce and stuff. Ah, so. oh, man. Okay. Sorry to hear that. Thanks. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna run to the restroom. I'll be right back. Okay. Wow. Huh? Well, that's the type of girl you should be dating. Lynn? Why not? Lynn is not the kind of woman you date that avenue to. That's, that's the kind of woman you marry. She's worth marrying. And she's worth dating. Uh, it's so great to see you. You too. <laughs> well, I uh, I got a couple of papers due next Monday. So. Um, well, how about I, I I just come over and then bring a couple burgers? So maybe I could help. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I am all burgered out. You know, college diet. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. But I know how to multitask. Why don't you come over? and I will make you a home-cooked meal. <laughs> and some good company? <laughs> Great. Well, why don't you give me a call, and um, we'll work out the details later. I will call for sure. Okay. <laughs> Get home safely. Thank you. Good to right. you. Well, I'm glad you made it. Mm-hmm. Am I early or something? I don't smell nothing cooking. Oh, no, you are right on time. Need some help? Wait, do you cook? Oh, I could shuck some corn and shell some peas now. <laughs> well, no. Your help will not be needed. But, um, you talk, and I'll cook. And that I can do, for sure. It's, oh, Jackson, stop playing on his phone. Uh, Marvin? Who is it? Uh, your silly friend Jackson pretending to be Fred Hammond. Jackson, stop. <laughs> Pardon? You know my mama ain't got time for your games. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Marvin Sapp, this is Fred Hammond. How are you, my brother? Well, Jackson, that's pretty good. You sound just like him. Jackson. <laughs> no, this is Fred Hammond. How, how are you? Uh, oh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Um, to what do I owe the pleasure? Well, you know, I have never forgotten about the time that you were singing during the offering at the commission's first concert. Remember that? <laughs> Thank you, sir. But, but, but if you don't mind me asking, how did you find this number? Well, I actually got your mom's number from Bishop Abney. Oh, wow. Now, listen, Marvin. Between you and me, there may be an opening in commission here soon, and, well, I was wondering if you'd be interested. Our group can benefit from an anointed voice like yours. Me? In commission. <laughs> that, that, that would be... A, a, a dream come true. I mean, growing up, that's the type of thing I, I dreamed of. But, but let me just say, you know, I, I know every good decision is not a God decision. I just, just want to make sure that, you know, I, this situation doesn't compromise, you know, what I'm doing in the kingdom. I just, I just really want to be in the will of God. I respect that, Marvin. How about this? How about we just start by praying about it? And I'll call you once a month or so, and we'll just keep praying about it until you make a decision either way. That, that would be amazing. God bless you, brother. Amen, amen. All right, let us, let us pray. Heavenly Father, please keep Brother Marvin in good spirit and good health. Continue to bless Brother Marvin and guide him in faith. Let him make a decision that honors your will and his mission as well. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 <laughs> Take care. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Now, what are you talking about? Bell. Why is hope? Well, why are we going on the back? Well, Mom leaves a spare key.
Don't start now. That's how we got this. <laughs> Let me get this boy. Oh, you're a good man. Ah, uh, saved by the bell. This strange man behind me. God. <laughs> oh my God. Hello, how are you? Oh, good, good. Good to see you. You too, Hi. you too. All right, let me go get this boy. I'll let you two catch up. All right, baby. <laughs> Fred, what are you doing in Grand uh, <laughs> Came to see you, brother. Oh, man, please, have a seat, man. Right. I mean, uh, to what pleasure do I owe this visit? Well, first of all, I'd like to thank you because you trusted me. When I came to you and asked you to join commission, you took us to the next level. Ah, oh, man, <laughs> this is the path that God has for me. So, Amen. Amen. Yeah. And I believe that. Yeah. Well, Marvin, I, uh, unfortunately gotta tell you, man, I, uh, I left the group. And I wouldn't come to you with this information unless it was final and past the point of reconciliation, and it is. Wait, 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 Fred, wait. What do you, what do you mean? Yeah. You're not gonna do any more albums or shows? Listen, Marvin, you guys are gonna be fine without me. Oh, no, I, I, uh, I don't know, Fred, this is, this is, this is way different from what I signed up for. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm a father now. Melinda and I started a church, and I'm definitely not sure me or anybody can fill your shoes. I understand your concerns, Marvin, but what's done is done. I just wanted you to hear from me directly. Oh, man. <sighs> Thank you, Fred, for everything. <sighs> Tell Melinda I send my regards. Did you make your decision yet, dear? I was hoping you could help. Okay. But what can I help you with? I was hoping you would help me go solo. As my manager. Oh, Marvin. Listen, listen. Every time there's a contract to be signed, you read it for me. You, you make sure the calendar is up to date. Whenever the label wants to get in touch with me, they call you. You've been managing me for years and don't even know it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See? See what? You manage everything in my life, Lynn. That's because if I didn't, your whole life would be in total disarray. For sure. <laughs> <sighs> Listen, Marvin. Our son is a whole handful. Mm. And this house is a lot to maintain. Now, when I read my vows to you, I promised you that I would give you everything I had to give, but this. I know it's a lot, man. I mean, the, the music, the ministry and all. Maybe we can hire a sitter. Maybe your mom. I've just been so focused on opening the school. I don't know if I can do this job efficiently. I promise you, I will build you that school with my own two hands if I have to. And then I'll back up off music if you want me to, but there's no way I'm going on this journey without you leading me the whole way. Oh, Marvin. I, I just don't trust anybody else to do this. All right, let's try it. Let's try. But the moment I feel just a piece of myself slipping away, the deal is off. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, that boy can run, you hear me? <laughs> Slap jeans, I'm telling you. Yes, sir, this is nice. This is real nice, son. Too bad I didn't spend more time with you and your brothers. And with you constantly on the road, these are the moments that your children will never forget. Came to a lot of my shows, Pop. Yeah, I wish it would have come to more. Well, you know you can still see me. Tickets for the next tour go on sale next week. <laughs> I'm just playing with you, Marvin. Marvin, hmm. I want to talk to you about a few things. Sure, what's up? We'll talk about it later. Oh, 
What is it? It can wait, son. No. Talk to me, Pop. Marvin, I just wanna, just wanna clear a few things up. You know I'm not gonna live forever, right? Yes. Marvin, I just want you, I just want you to be prepared for when the Lord calls me home. And I want you to perform my eulogy at my homegoing services. Why are you talking to me like this, Bob? Son, I need you to do this for me. Promise me that you'll perform at my homegoing services. And Marvin, when you drop me off at the cemetery, I don't want you to come back. Are you okay? Everything fine, son. <laughs> We're trying to get something. And is that leading or follow? song that moved everybody in church last month. That's not even a yeah. song, Lynn. Yeah, but did you see the way it moved everybody? I mean... Uh, something that came to mind when I was thinking about Daddy. Yeah, well, it could definitely be a song. Hmm. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. I already booked the studio time with oh, Aaron, what? so... Now, why would you go and tell Aaron about that when we already got our 12 songs for the album? Because it was a hit. 12 good ones. No. And as your manager, I'm making an executive decision for your career. Mm -hmm. I'm the musician. Mm -hmm. You handle the business and the contracts. I know music, and I know there ain't no dang song. Never would have made it. Mm -hmm. Never could have made it without you. I would have lost. 
pass it all. Yes. But now I see you were there for me. You know, pain has a way of birthing things out of you that you never expected, giving you messaging to help other people when you want to keep it to yourself. There's a truth about that, though. And the truth is, is that the only reason all of us are here is because we keep having never would have made it moments. And I know that I absolutely never would have made it without him. The 16th annual McDonald's Inspiration All right, Michaela, Marvin, I'll watch it. Ooh, feel good out here. What's this, Lynn? Read it. Okay, the Hot 100. What's this about? Read through the list. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. Marvin Sapp never would have made it number 82. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> a gospel record on the Hot 100? Oh, no, no, no. Not a gospel record. My gospel record. So, Lynn, you about to make it. <laughs> Woman, what? Lynn! <laughs> Oh, 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 you okay? You okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm okay. I just executive produced a smash hit gospel. Lynn, <laughs> I'm number 82. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Okay, baby, I need to hurry. Mom, start tripping. We out. Now, you know, we are not going all the way to Mississippi just to turn right back around. Well, oh, she only turned 70 once, you know? Oh, I love you in the shirt. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah! Wait, what's wrong? Wait, hey, wait. Oh, it's just kidding. Oh, it's again. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. Breathe. Breathe. I'm right here. I'm right here. Breathe. Breathe. Okay, all right, that's it. I'm taking you. Ah! It feels like someone is stabbing me in my stomach with a knife. Okay. Can you please get some Okay, okay I'm gonna grab someone now. Uh, now, doctor, doctor, uh, my wife needs something for her pain. Uh, 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 okay, we're gonna get her some stronger meds uh, for the pain. Nurse Johnson, I need one cc of morphine in the drip. It'll settle her down. Mr. Seth, do you mind stepping into the hallway? Sure, sure. We got back the results of your wife's colonoscopy. Everything okay? I'm very suspicious of a few polyps. Based on their appearance, I'm suspecting colon cancer. I'm pretty sure that's right. We just have to wait on some additional labs. What? She's probably going to need a colon resection. What's that? We're going to need to remove about 18 inches of her colon and remove the diseased portion of her colon. I'm sorry, sir. It's my wife in there. What? Hold on, hold on, okay. How you doing, baby? I feel so much better now that I got that morphine. What's going on? Well, then, the, the doctor thinks you have colon cancer. And then he wants to take some out. But... What? Please, don't be scared. I'm right here with you the whole way. We're going to get through this. The Lord will heal you. I know he will. You still need to go to your mother's party. She's going to be expecting you. I'll be fine. I don't care about no damn party. I'll be OK. Lynn. Trust me, look. I'm not going to be eating cake while my wife is laid up in a hospital bed. Look, what is wrong with you? 
If this is God's will, who am I to change it? I know you're not supposed to question God, but why? Why you? Why my wife? I trust in God, Marvin. If it is his will for me to be healed, then I will be healed. I have faith. I love you, Lynn. I'll be right back. So I was holding off on the COVID booster, thinking, I've been around the block. How are you feeling? Better than I look, I'm sure. I don't have good news. Go ahead, doctor. Your cancer is very aggressive. I'm afraid we're not having much luck with either the chemo or the radiation. At this point, there's not a whole lot else we can do. This medicine. God is my healer. I want to go home, Marvin. Take me home. Make sure she's comfortable. But let me know if you need anything. Mm -hmm. Emil, Michaela, Madison, come downstairs. What do you want, Dad? Just come downstairs. Uh, is Mommy home? Shh, keep your voices down. Your mom needs a rest right now. Come on, let's sit down. Talk a second. What's going on, Dad? Well, um, mommy's very sick, and uh, her health is declining. What do you mean, Dad? Mm -hmm. 
dad is gonna always be honest with y'all. And um, this is, this is probably the hardest thing I have to, to say, but um, mommy's not gonna be with us much longer. And um, daddy can never replace your mom. But I'm gonna promise y'all, y'all are never gonna want for anything. And I'm gonna love you thick and thin. I don't understand. I want to talk to mommy. I, I know, I know you will, okay? So, Mel, come here. Come here, man. Y'all listen to me. You are strong. You have the strongest mother. Y'all are the children of Melinda Seth. Strong woman. We've raised y'all to be strong. And God's got us. Okay? You hear me? Don't you forget that God has got you. Fish. Oh, come on. <laughs> Ooh. but now I need to show you how to balance the ledger. This looks like a lot, man. Maybe we should just get an accountant. No accountants, Marvin. You need to learn how to do this. This family cannot get taken advantage of. Okay, then. Show me. Okay. So when you go on stage tomorrow, you do not step on that stage until they put a check for $30,000 in your hand. Tomorrow? Yes. Lynn, I'm not doing anything going anywhere with you like this. Martha, this is a lot of money for this family. We can't skip these shows. I don't know. All the way in Houston? You will be fine. I don't think I have the strength for this. Can you find the strength for me? Hmm? Don't feel right. All right, well, tomorrow there will be a car to pick you up first thing in the morning. You'll be fine. And I'm gonna do it for you, because I promised you. But after this show, I'm canceling all of my performances. Okay, let's talk about the deposits. Uh, the deposit. Mm -hmm. I want to say on behalf of me and, and my children and my entire family, thank y'all for being with us today. My faith is yet extended even the more today. I yet believe God. 
My mother was everything to all of us. Wherever we needed to go or whatever we needed to do, she was our personal taxi. And she made the best pancakes. <laughs> we are going to miss her so much. She wasn't there for just us. She was the community mother. We had to share her with everyone, but we didn't mind because she loved being available to everyone. Even though my mommy is with God now, that means she's not here with us. But she will always be right here. Never would have made it. <laughs> Never could have made it without you. I would have lost it all. But now I see you were there for me. And I say, Never would have made it. Never could have made it without you. I would have lost it all. But now I see you were there for me. Now I can say strong. I'm wiser. I'm better. So much better. When I look back. Yeah!